Hey guys, good morning one and all and welcome to the video. My name is Saumil Shah. So I just wanted to say what am I learning now, right? So I actually, uh, these days I have started learning or taking some course on uh, LinkedIn learning and plural sites. I'm actually trying to learn about um, big data, to be honest. So I already know about Glue, you know, the crawler, you can query the Presto database via Athena and, uh, you know, Redshift, all of these. But now I also want to get a little bit my hands dirty on EMR job. I mean, I want to go more deep into it. Uh, um, Hadoop, Elastic MapReduce, I want to learn about different file system, for example, HDFS, uh, you know, all these. Then Pig, that's also one of them. So all these um, system, I would love to, you know, I want to dive deeper and deeper on, okay, how can I analyze massive amount of data? Okay, what's the best way to compress the file? Should I save it as a Parquet? Should I save it as a HDFS file? Or should I save it as a CSV or JSON or, you know, all, all these stuff. So I'm, I'm just, I just started reading about all these technology about, you know, um, what, what are the available uh, things, for example, right? Um, so once I start learning and once I know uh, pretty much, then I can, you know, start teaching you guys as well, right? So uh, these are the, some of the things that I have been learning by, you know, some YouTube, Stack Overflow, blogs. Um, so essentially that. But uh, I, I truly feel also that, uh, so for mostly data science, we use pandas and PySpark. Pandas is pretty great for smaller data sets, not good for big data sets. That's why I would say if you are a beginner and if you're trying to learn that, I would say guys, start with PySpark directly. Don't start from pandas. Pandas is great, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's bad. It's, it's great for um, data sets, but if you want to have a massive data set, if you want to scale, if you want to write some scripts, PySpark usually goes well with most of the stuff, right? So yeah, you know, I'll, I'll be exploring more uh, areas on big data, Hadoop, you know, all these file systems, um, writing ETL jobs and, 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 and you know, transferring data from S3 uh, via EMR, this and that. And, you know, we'll be learning more, more on that. As soon as I, I keep learning and I, I explore new things, once I have confidence, then I can, you know, create contents and, you know, teach you guys on that as well. But uh, yeah, just wanted to let you know what uh, what's going on. Uh, but if you have any more requests as such, do let me know your request in the comment section and I would try to uh, accommodate that request during, uh, you know, in, in my schedule, right? It's usually, it's just Saturday I get my free time. I mean, Monday to Friday, it's a you know, job. Uh, Sunday, I, I just want to relax. I don't want to do anything Sunday. Uh, Saturday, it's pretty much YouTube and then I have to do my assignments of PhD and you know, other things. But uh, yeah, you know, that's pretty much it. I hope you have enjoyed uh, on uh, on this video. Uh, if you have any more questions, let me know in the questions. And if you know any such trending big data framework that you think I should learn or I think everyone should know, you can comment that in the comment section and you know, people when they read the comment, it would benefit everyone, um, right? So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed it. And uh, with that being said, keep smiling, keep programming. I would see you guys in the upcoming next tutorial. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.